Hey, what's up? Welcome to another video here on Free Will Photos. Today, what we're going to be looking at is replace color and see how we can go from a dull looking image and make something that's a little bit more exciting. It's fall time, so let's have some fun and dive right in. Here we are in my photo library and as you can see I have a photo selected um, and for the sake of today's tutorial I already uh, made the selections and I, I did everything that we're going to do to the particular image so I'm just going to walk you through what I did. Uh, it didn't take too long but for the sake of making this tutorial not so long that's why I'm going to share it with you this way. So let me go ahead and get my face out of the way here. All right. So over here on the right hand side, you can see I just did some tone and color adjustments. Uh, really just basic stuff. In fact, I think I hit AI auto and then I just fine tuned this the way that I wanted the photo to look. All right. Now, once that was all said and done, I went ahead and added in some effects. I wanted something a little bit more contrasty what you go for in your image going to be completely up to you but as you can see i changed a little bit of the color here made this way more brown and this is actually a really cool technique uh, when your color adjustments or your color enhancers don't really meet the standard that you're going for when you're trying to get uh, more saturation out of a color or just a, a different look in your image all right so let's go ahead and jump to the star of the show. This is the replace color uh, filter. Now I am going to go ahead and jump this up. Let's go ahead and open that up too. Uh, I'm going to jump this up 100% because I dialed this back uh, based off of the other settings that I already uh, started to run. Now, as you can see here, let me see if I can make this a little bit bigger by pulling this out. Okay. So as you can see here, uh, we'll start with a more simplified look. Uh, for anyone who's not familiar with the replace color filter, essentially what you're doing is you're going to use the eyedropper, select a color, which for me, I selected a color right around this area. And then I went ahead and replaced it uh, using the color wheel. All right. So by clicking on the color down here, you can move this around to find the particular color that you want. And the further you drag this inward, the less saturated it becomes. The further you drag it outward, the more saturated it becomes. And then as you move it around the circle, you start to get more of a uh, hue change all right and then your luminance how bright the color is is adjusted with this slider down here now i personally use the color wheel for this because i felt like that made the most sense once you have the color that you want now it's more of an adjustment of getting everything around the uh the image where you want it to be all right now i'm going to show you the mask here for anyone who's not familiar with the mask, anywhere where uh, the, the, you see the color white, that means the effect of this orange is showing through. And anywhere where you see a darker color, black or gray, because I used a uh, small opacity here, I use 63, uh, that means I'm not putting the full, or I'm not muting the full effect, all right? Because I did enjoy the tone that I was getting. So this is what it looks like with, without the adjustment. This is what it looks like with the adjustment. Now, this is where you can really hone in on the color replacement. And this is where I think on one shines. It gives you the ability to use a blending mode. Now, if you're not familiar with blending modes, that's okay. Uh, you can check the link in the description box below. It's going to take you to a video where I tried my best to explain the blending modes. But if you got questions, drop them in the comment section below. Uh, moral of the story here, 
I changed the blending mold mode to multiply because I wanted a darker, more contrasty image. That's what I felt that this image needed. Uh, you can also come down to hue if you need to adjust or want to blend this with just the hue of the image or the saturation. Um, and in most cases, you may even want to use color. This is going to combine both hue and saturation, give you the uh, option to do that. Um, now, I personally went with multiply. And the reason for that is I wanted this to get a little bit darker in the areas where I was placing it because I wanted a richer brown tone. All right. Uh, and then I just went ahead and I backed this off. I want to say I was around 50 percent. Uh, really, I was just looking for a darker brown and turning it off and on. I was able to see like, OK, yeah, I brought back the color in the areas after I made my basic adjustments. OK. Then the rest is really just basic work. I added in a curves layer because again, I wanted to bring a little bit more contrast into the image. So I went ahead and threw a curves layer in there. And then of course I had to throw in a color adjustment layer. Now I could have very easily just used a color adjustment layer by itself. Now uh, this I'm only affecting the greens, right? So if I were to turn this off, add a filter, go to color adjustment, and I'm just going to come here and I can make this darker in the browns. And then I can mess around with this, make it a little bit more towards the red, uh, not liking the way that that looks. And then maybe even move this just a little bit, saturate it darker. And I could have messed around with this, right? The beauty of using a replace color is I don't have to sit here and mess around with sliders to try and figure that out. All I had to do was click on the color that I want inside of the color wheel once I open this back up and choose where I want it. I knew I wanted somewhere in the orange and you can see it as a live preview. So uh, here, I'll move it around a little bit. So if I wanted to go like green, right? It's starting to affect the, make it look a little bit more green, but I wasn't trying to get rid of the colors altogether. I just wanted to make it look a little bit more uh, realistic, right? And we were somewhere in this ballpark. So we'll go with that. So now I have the image that I want. This is the before. And this is the after. If you want to watch more content, check the videos out on the screen. And until the next time, I want you guys to stay inspired and keep creating. Peace.